Good morning, my dear students. It's nice to meet you once again. I'm your teacher, Benedict. It's a brand new day for us to learn a brand new lesson in which we can apply in our lives. Before anything else, let's pray first. Bow your head and close your eyes. Dear God, thank you for looking after our school. Thank you that you love each and everyone here. Help us to learn, play, and share together. It's incredible that you are here every second of the day, everywhere, all the time, beside of us. Amen. My class, may I ask our class secretary for our attendance? Great! All of the students in this class are present. With that, let's start our today's lesson, Internal and External Conflict, featuring the Centipede by Ronnie B. Diaz. Okay, for today's objectives, let's understand the difference between the internal and external conflicts. Discover the conflicts found in the selection and the need to resolve those in non-violent ways. Next one is narrate an incident in life similar to the conflict found in the selection. Lastly, appreciate the importance of resolving conflicts in non-violent ways. With that being said, let's start our today's lesson. Class, I want you to pick up your devices with QR code scanner and let's identify the following images you see. Scan the QR co code which is now in front of you. Then, identify it what's on the picture and tell us in the class once I called you. 5 second class. And time's up. Everyone, please pay attention to me. And let's discuss the images you have scanned earlier. Anyone who want to identify the first picture? You're right. It's a called centipede. Did you know that centipede are arthropods belonging to the sub subphylum Meropoda, an arthropod group which also includes millipedes and other multi-legged creatures? Centipedes are also elongated metameric creatures with one pair of legs per body. Okay, up to the next one. For our next image, anyone? Yes? Correct! It's the dog. A recent study shows that dogs are among a small group of animals who show voluntary and selfish kindness towards others without any reward. This is one fact dog lovers have known all along. And for our last image, anyone? Yes, you're correct. It's a stick. A stick is a long, slender piece of wood, usually a branch from a tree without the leaves. Very good class. Well, that would be for our pre-activity. Let's, let's head to our story, The Centipede by Ronnie V. Diaz, to be read by our own teacher, Teacher Karen. Good day everyone, I'm Teacher Karen. We're going to discuss The Centipede by Ronnie V. Diaz. Are you ready students? Let's go! The Centipede When Eddie saw his sister, her demeanor and appearance seemed like a dagger completed with her brown dress. She was hitting his dog, Biryuk, with a stick, although hate and rage is fueling inside of Eddie while watching her sister. He could not do anything for her sister because she has a weak heart. This scene was like of many others that happened before. He met the dog Biryu when he and his father were out for hunting birds. With dim patience, they awaited for birds to take a leap to the sky before firing the shotgun. He was taught that the hunters fit for good luck and do Eddie did. As they are waiting, a dog suddenly leaped towards the bird who were taking a long time to fly. 
Eddie fired his father's shotgun and shot three with one shell. Eddie came to gather the shot birds, though the grass made it complicated to search. Biryuk pinpointed where the birds were and befriended Eddie. Eddie asks his father's permission to keep Biryuk for the meantime. His father said that the dog will make a good pointer. Eddie followed Biryuk to where he was hiding and he noticed that Biryuk's eyes was pierced from the stick his sisters used. With rage piling up more and more, he screamed. He walked towards their house when Berto called Eddie and showed him a large centipede that almost beat him. Eddie killed the centipede and kept its shell. He used the centipede to get back to his sister who was embroidering in the house. He tossed the white handkerchief towards his, teeth, his sister and then she shrieked back. Her sister did not see that it was Hedy who did it. As she struggles to keep her breathing, she collapsed. And then Eddie panicked and insisted that the centipede was already dead. And that was it for our story. Let's go to the discussion with Mr. Miguel. Thank you so much, Teacher Karen, for that wonderful story. Good day, everyone. I am Teacher Miguel, and I'm going to summarize and discuss deeply the story for today, The Centipede by Ronnie G. Diaz. First, let's hear the summary for the short story. Are you ready? Great. Now, um, the story was about a mis misunderstanding between Eddie and his sister Delia. The conflict of the two started when Delia provoked her brother Eddie by the way of attacking and destroying Eddie's necessary stuff in his life and also his pet, Yuryu. Delia does not like Eddie to be happy in his life. She likes watching Eddie suffer from what she has done. Delia treated Eddie as a rival and an enemy but not his but not her brother. Delia also always blaming her brother about the death of their mother because uh, when Eddie was born, their mother died, hence why Delia hated him. Aside from that, Delia always thinks that Eddie is uh, more important to their father rather than her. Due to this, she has a very bad character and a very jealous girl, which is not everyone wants to be. She used her um, illness as an alibi so she can do more bad things to her brother Eddie. Now, she knew that Eddie is a good brother to her and she can fight her back so she can still do whatever she wants to do to him. Now, despite from this, Eddie endures all the bad things that um, Delia did to him. As a younger brother of Delia, he tried to understand that all of the bad things he had done to his sister was all due to her illness, even though she's uh, into really uh, suffering him and such. Aside from that, Eddie did not go against his sister Delia, even if Delia did something bad to his monkey, pigeons, and butterflies. After all of this, um, Eddie's patience had come to an end when he saw Delia start um, Birok's eyes using a stick. Now, this time, something was really wrong to Eddie. He cannot now control the anger of his, of his sister anymore, and now she used, he used uh, a centipede as a revenge to fight against Delia. When Delia was so mean, he threw that, um, the centipede and she was uh, fell down and crying in pain. This time, Eddie had realized that he was not supposed to do that because um, one, Delia has a disease, and secondly, she still, um, Delia is still here, his sister. Now, he realized that the damage has not already been done and it cannot be reversed and done. So that's the summary of the story. I hope you listen well because we're gonna talk about what's inside of that story, which is uh, internal and external conflicts. Now let's define conflict as a whole. First, a conflict is a literary device that depicts a battle between two opposing forces. 
conflict is essential in any story because it was uh, it was into um, creating tension and propels the plot forward. It is frequent to be used in narratives and to reveal as well um, deeper meaning while highlighting stories, characters, motivations, values, and flaws. One must remember that stories cannot progress without conflict because if there is no conflict in a story, it is what it is. Now, we'll dig deep to the difference between the internal and external conflict. When a character struggles between their own opposing um, desires or beliefs, this is referred to as internal conflict. It happens within them and it drives the character development. On the other hand, um, external conflict is the character against something or something over which they have no control. External forces obstruct char character's um, motivation and creates tension as the character strives to achieve their goals. Now, this might seem so complicated, especially to you, but here's me to simplify the definition of these terms. Um, so, first, let's go back to internal conflict. Now, internal conflict takes place within the character, easier to follow the evolution of the character, and makes much more complex story. While on the other hand, external conflict takes place outside the character, the character does not evolve with some um, internal conflict and makes more of a basic storyline with clearly defined goals. Now, knowing the definition of the internal and external conflict, now let's analyze the conflicts of the story. Now, are you ready? Nice. Now, let's talk first to the external conflict of the story. Now, anyone who wants to identify the external conflict of the story does not defeat. Yes? Mm -hmm. You're correct. Okay, now. From what he has said, Edwin Delhi has not been into good terms and they're one way of another since they were children. They are afraid to ask rivals. Which is that. Don't do that, okay? Now, let's focus now to the internal conflict of the story. Now, anyone? Yes? Mm -hmm. You're definitely correct. Now, Harry, Eddie has more than that if he will have his revenge to his sister after what she had done to his dog, Ryu, and do the unnecessary stuff in his life as well. Now, okay, so everyone give some applause to yourselves. Now, everyone, let's analyze if Eddie's action is good or bad. We know that revenge is bad and he says anyone who gets it. Do you think that Eddie did the right thing to his, to his sister, Delia, and to his dog in the first place? What do you think? Yes? Mm -hmm. You're right. Eddie did the wrong thing as he didn't consider the condition and there might be something that happened to her. We know that even though she uses um, her sickness as an animal, it is still sickness. And so one must remember that revenge is bad, no matter the context of the conflict. Now, what did we learn from the story? So here is the following that we should point out. First, we should not take, we should not make hasty decisions in life, knowing without thinking it over and over again to avoid regret. So think twice, think twice before we make a decision. Also, do not make decisions when you are angry. It will, it will not um, come into good decisions. Secondly, we should not take revenge instead of pray and ask for God's help to escape from trouble. So, revenge is not always an option and uh, to solve any problem that we have. And lastly, Bible always reminds us to love our enemy. It is hard to it is hard to manage of God, but it, it is true. Like what happened to Eddie, he loved his sister despite of all the bitterness. But the time the Eddie lost his temper and he did something wrong against his sister. There are some times in our lives that we cannot take the pain anymore just to take revenge. But God commands us not to take revenge against anyone else. Now, everyone, I want you to remember that be good to, be good to everyone. Okay? Because revenge is bad and it really does any good in our surroundings and such. Okay, did, did you get it? Okay, now, everyone. I want you to look at our link to our screen which contains our quiz today. Copy the link to your browser and answer it based on what we have discussed and you learn from today's lesson. You have the remaining time for our class to answer and submit your responses. 
Also, there are the link, there is the link for the assignment as well. Um, use your Microsoft Microsoft Word for doing your assignment. Now, everyone, I wanted to thank you for having me uh, with us today, with Teacher Abraham and Teacher Karen. Now, I want you to realize how thinking Christ, Christ, and anything would be a good thing for us, especially when we make decisions so that one must remember that think twice or Christ, something like that. And with that being said, that will conclude our class for today. Thank you so much for having for having with us today. Um, as for Teacher Karen and Teacher Abraham, I am Teacher Michael saying goodbye and God bless. See you on our next class. Bye.